Okay, I got some tips here uh, to get you through the Bible, in the Word. Uh, it's, it's about that time where people, if they try to do the Bible in a year uh, thing that people do, they'll give up or realize they're not going to do it. And Anyway, this is, um, this is not trying to get you through the whole Bible in a year. This is trying to get you to stay in the Word. Uh, this would be probably my fourth year doing the whole Bible in a year, but I didn't do that at all last year. I didn't do every book in the Bible last year. What I did was a lot of books over and over and over again. And, okay, number one, stay in the New Testament. If you're not going to make it the whole way through, get the New Testament and get it good. Just skip right to the New Testament if, if you're... If you're anything from bored to, to not understanding it, just go right to the New Testament. The Old Testament is so much easier, especially book by book, when you know the New Testament well. Um, so, And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no rule that says you got to start at Genesis and then go to Revelation and you can't skip any book. You can do the same, just few books, and, and almost where you, you don't have to have to memorize them, but you know... As you're reading the word or, or listening to the word, you know exactly what's coming next. You know, just get getting that that groove of it, and and that's a great place to be. Number two, audio. It is okay to listen to the word. Get it on your phone. Get several different, like like a drama, like a spoken word. Get um, you know, don't have to listen to the same person every time. Uh, but don't just put it in the background and act like it's an achievement, um, you know, move on to the next book. Use the backup button. Wear out the backup button on your phone. Just Whether you didn't hear something or whether you heard something awesome, hit it again. Listen to it again. New take on the verse you've heard over and over again. Back it up and... Uh, let it be fresh and, and get the word out of the audio. Number three, keep your Bible out. Keep it near you. Keep it, if, if you're listening to teaching, if you're listening to preaching, uh, find the verse. Find right where they are. Know if somebody's telling you the truth. Uh, don't let somebody tell you how to read the Bible Make sure what they're saying is what it actually says. Uh, that is all over the place. People um, taking certain verses and making whole things, but if you, if you read like the whole chapter, or it's not just a context. It's a it's it's more of a what is it trying to say? What's it trying? To what was actually taking place and what is God wanting you to get out of it, not what is man wanting you to, to get out of it. Um, number four, try the KJV. Uh, if if what if what if what you're reading isn't ringing perfectly clear uh, proof of God's word to you, try the KJV. Uh, I was all about the English Standard uh, three years ago. I went through the whole Bible in the English Standard, and the few things that I just couldn't get over, the KJV solved those issues. Do not go telling everybody, I'm switching to KJV, they will not like it. Um, when it comes up, be honest about it, and... and, and if you have your reasons why, uh, definitely discuss that. But uh, it's going to come up anyway. People are going to, out of nowhere, they're, they're going to say, don't read the KJV. And then you can be, you know, why not? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so, uh, number five, and there's seven of these, so I'm going to stop. Praise God, especially when you're alone, before and after, during, when you're, when, you're, when you're reading the Word, uh, praising, you know, you can lift your hands when, no, when nobody's around and, and, uh, 
And praise God. Um, number six, fast and read. Uh, don't just make fasting a diet. When you're taking the time that you would be eating, read the Word. And go the distance, you know. Whatever you can do, do that. But replace that with the word. Not by bread alone. Every word. Last one, number seven. This is the key. This is the most important. This is the deal. Believe it. Believe what you're reading. Believe what it says. Uh, you're, you're wasting your time if you're just reading it to read it. If you're reading it to say you did or, or to gain not the knowledge that God wants you to, but the knowledge of what it says to talk about it or to debate or uh, some kind of, to have some kind of theology on it. No, believe what it says. If you're willing to open up what God has for you out of this, you have to believe. As you're reading it, believe it. If it's not what you're expecting, believe it. If it's not what you want to hear, believe it. If it is what you want to hear, if you think it's for you, believe it. That's the deal. That's, that is... That's going to be the fastest way to learn and to, uh, to see the truth in it. Uh, it's, it ends up being life-changing when you believe it. All right, guys, and stick with it. Uh, it ends up being not a trying-to-do-it thing. It ends up being where <laughs> it's what you want to do. You're, you know, you're tuning out the podcast are boring after a while. Uh, you're not looking forward to new albums or movies or whatever sports like you like you would be. You're wanting to get back in the same thing because it's it's fresh every time, and that's where you want to be. All right, thanks, guys.